Hello folks, it's a tamer here. I know, I'm finally doing a video after about, I don't know, five or six month hiatus. I'm sorry for that. At least the shipyards did some videos this week. Made me get off my backside and basically those uh, that watched the intro saw that great opening video that Hangar Bay 94 made for us. And you saw the C5 icon. Basically, I want to highlight two of the goodies I was able to buy when I was at C5. Talk about a shipyard's custom contest that's going on right now. And thanks, Jules, for that great opening video. His graphics are off. You know, it's Anger Bay 94 on the shipyards. Alright, let me get into this review. This uh, seemed to be the holy grail while Fatty and I were down at C5. And needless to say, by the time we got up to the booth most days, this guy was sold. But this is the 12 inch Gentle Giant C5 exclusive vintage Boba Fett. And this is kind of one of these lines, you either love it or you hate it. And if it has Empire Strikes Back on, as you know, I'm a sucker uh, for anything that says TESB. But this one is just a beautiful corded combination of a figure that we all loved when we were kids. And if you're nostalgic like I am, this is a must-have for your Star Wars collection. As you can see, this thing's huge. But boy, it's just top quality from start to finish. And I don't know why anyone who got this would ever want to remove it from the package. I know I have a lot of my friends on Cruel Shipyards get on me a good bit for leaving everything still in the package. I'm one of those dreaded party collectors. But this one is just, it's just beautiful. And uh, you can zoom in on the card a little bit. As you can see, it features the custom uh, cord uh, that we're all familiar with from the vintage line. As a matter of fact, the Hasbro Mail-Away figure has the same cord and they did a beautiful job with theirs too. I also thought it was the new Hedge the Giant is superimposed on the cover front side. I'll show you the back, which is reminiscent of the old pullback style, which I thought it was really nice. And they are doing a lot more of these. I'm not sure how many more of them I will pick up. Probably most of them that have the Empire Strikes Back on the card. I remember having that Darth Vader, so that one might end up in my collection. But these are just beautiful, nostalgic vintage pieces. And they really are big. But it is just ridiculous some of the prices that we're seeing on eBay for this guy alone. I saw someone paid over $330 uh, just a few days ago for this. Of course, at retail, I know it wasn't that much. And the guy that came out right before him was the SDCC exclusive, I believe, which was the Empire Strikes Back Stormtrooper. And. He is just well done too. Same same style card back. Seems like there's some confusion among some of the various toy lines understanding that this figure was first produced on a new hope card pack style. But I'm loving the Empire Strikes Back and of course they both were released on the Empire Strikes Back cards too. But as you can see, beautiful. Recorded. Once again, the same back cord as the Boba Fett C5 exclusive. The same Gentle Giant logo up top. But of course, these are going to now have to find some place for me to display them as a part of my collection. I just can't leave these in bags as I've done since I got back from Florida last August. This beautiful, beautiful pieces. I guess I would also be remiss if I could humor me. 
I'll show you something I didn't pick up from C5, but a Christmas present from my lovely wife, my gentle giant Boba Fett minibus, kind of the holy grail. I don't know if you can see how beautiful the box condition is, but it is just phenomenal. I got a really good price on eBay right around Christmas time for this, and I just couldn't believe the box condition when I got it. Based on the price I paid, I figured I was going to see something mangled, but it looks like it is just pristine. And now I'm not going to open it. I'm going to put it right back up here with the rest of my stuff. But that's something I got. And I want to end the video by talking about the Imperial Shipyards custom contest we have going on now. It's called the Mini Rig Contest, where you are going to create a Kenner Mini Rig of old using any particular toy line of parts. And I know I'm not going to do the contest justice, so please just check out the front page of ImperialShipyards.net and you'll see the full details for the contest. And Let's just say there's a great prize for that. I have to thank Hanger Bay for putting that together. And Clonehead and Luke Sprywalker and Wraith Nine also for contributing to that great contest. I think that's it for now. <laughs> I tried to be a little bit more forthcoming with my videos from here on out. Oh, I'm also podcasting now with another shipyard by the name of Lucas Clone, so if you uh, can listen to this, maybe you'll actually listen to my podcast. We're doing them bi-weekly every other Thursday, and I'm having a blast uh, learning about podcasting and RSS and all that great stuff. So, matter of fact, look for one this coming Friday. I think that's it. I will see you next time.